Hi, I'm Dr. Rolando Toyos. This is my wife, Dr. Melissa Toyos. Uh, we're Toyos Clinic. Uh, we have clinics in Nashville and Memphis, Tennessee. One of the things that we really specialize in besides all of general ophthalmology is that we also do a lot of dry eye. And we've been working on dry eye for about 17 years. And the thing that we get asked the most is, what do you guys do diagnostically for dry eye? And one thing that's been consistent in our practice all these years is using the Oculus uh, 5M. So we're here at Escris 2018 in Vienna. Uh, we're trying to have a good time, but actually we've been going and seeing all the new technologies and all the new things. And we wanted to come by here and just talk about how we're using the Oculus uh, 5M. So what this technology does for you is several things. You, Melissa, you want to talk about a couple of things that you're using it for? Absolutely. So I, this is imperative for my research studies. Um, we're using the infrared mybography here to look at my mybography and actually watching the dropout and then watching that improve with things like IPL. Um, this is terrific for patients when they don't understand really what's going on with their disease and it's a very reliable marker. Uh, it's one of the most reliable markers I've actually found diagnostically to help me understand what's going on with the ocular surface. Yeah, and so for on the mybography, in terms of seeing a patient improve with the treatments that we're doing, so say we're doing intense pulse light right. for dry eye. If you show patients that they have abnormal mybography, they go through the treatment process, and then all of a sudden that you show them normal um, mybum, normal my, mybomian glands, and a normal mybography, it's very impactful for the patients to see this. Especially increased mybomian glands, which we see with IPL. That's right. So you can go from seeing dropout, and we actually presented this about five years ago at an Escaris, showing that with intense pulse light, we can have patients that have mybomian gland dropout, they get the treatment, and then with the 5M, we could show them that the mybomian glands come back. Absolutely. We're also looking at conchchalasis, so you can measure the tear meniscus here, but we're using this as well to measure conchchalasis, which is another marker of dry eye. Yeah, I think conchchalasis is gonna be the next big topic in dry eye. So you have these patients with dry eye, and what happens to their conjunctiva is it swells, and instead of the patient blinking lid to lid, they're actually blinking on conjunctiva. So we're doing all sorts of things in our clinic to try to improve the conjunctiva so that they have normal blinking action. And what happens in a normal blink is you're releasing mybum every time that happens. Now, if you have a patient that has conjunctiva swelling, they're not getting that normal blink. So one way to diagnostically and show uh, subjectively and objectively uh, that they're having a problem is to show swelling. And the uh, Oculus 5M can actually measure the amount of conchchalasis that you have. So that if you do treatment with a treatment like IPL or with drops, you can show the shrinking of the conchchalasis and to the point where it becomes normal. Now, if it doesn't become normal, Melissa is actually working on some studies right now using the 5M uh, to show other ways of improving conchchalasis. You want to talk about that? Yeah, so really briefly, we were looking at some of drops to actually shrink the tissue, and it, it makes perfect sense. When I talk to my patients, I say, uh, they'll, they'll tell me that it hurts when I blink. And if you have extra tissue, you're pinching actually on that. And if you think about how rain clouds move across mountains, it drops all the moisture on one side and the other side gets dry. That actually perpetuates and amplifies the cycle of inflammation. So it makes sense that we treat conchchalasis, and this is the only machine that I know of that helps us measure it. Okay, so we're looking at Lumify. Lumify is one of the new redness relievers, and uh, from BNL, it's fabulous at relieving redness. But we're also seeing, and we'll be reporting on this at AAO, or no, I'm sorry, Ascaris, um, that it actually shrinks the tissue within three minutes and patients feel better. So that's kind of exciting news. And then with the Lumify, in terms of its brominidine, you're used to using that in uh, Alphagan and other glaucoma drops, but we're using it for redness. One of the things that uh, was done was they just looked at uh, redness of the eye, but they didn't look at it with an objective type of technology. So yep. one of the studies that we're doing is using the redness uh, markers and the redness measurements on the 5M to see how patients improve with their redness with uh, a drop like Lumify. Yep. So for example, uh, with the redness, the 5M can objectively measure how red an eye is we put the Lumify in and then it objectively, objectively measure 
uh, how white the eye gets. So we have some other uh, reasons to use the 5M. Uh, one of them is the non-invasive tear breakup time. So essentially you can measure with fluorescein a tear breakup time, but again, that could be a little subjective. You might measure four seconds, I might measure five seconds. Depends on how fast your reflex time is, yes. Exactly, so with the 5M, uh, this is done and actually can be measured without fluorescein, and this is something a technician can do uh, as a pre-screening for your patients with dry eye. So we have a busy cataract and refractive practice, and we really don't have time to really screen all these patients that are coming in for cataract surgery and LASIK surgery. This is something a technician can do. They could do a non-invasive tear breakup time with the 5M and go, hey, this is less than 10 seconds. This is a patient that deserves more uh, diagnostic study to see how bad their dry eye is. And it might be a patient that you actually treat before your cataract surgery and LASIK. Absolutely, I think that's becoming even more important. There are several companies that are looking at central corneal staining and how important that is for our measurements and the outcomes. And then the other thing I like is that you could take video and pictures of this disease. So I tell people that dry eye is a gland skin condition and if you can get pictures of the lid margin and show that the lid margin has signs of blepharitis, has signs of thickening. The telangiectasias, yep. That's right. And, and, and then follow that patient. So there's a lot of things that are being used diagnostically, but we really feel the 5M is irreplaceable if you're going to have a dry eye center. Yes. So you ask patients how they're feeling, you look at the signs and symptoms, and that's all you need.